Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room and I am using a kit for January 2024. It is uh, Vicki Booten, Discover and Create. And I'm so excited. I couldn't wait to get my hands on some of these goodies. So what do I have here? I've got some smooth white cardstock. I've got this gorgeous piece here that will be incredibly fussy cut. Like ugh, every tiny little bit gets to be cut on this piece. It is stunning on the back, so I do need more than one of those. This piece here, it's called Pastime, a gorgeous blue. And then these pieces, oh my lanta, look at the paintbrushes. Ugh, so incredibly cool with a really nice deep blue background. Great pieces are on the branding strips, of course. I have got chipboard. There is puffy stuff. There are all of the things. There's, there's chipboard, I'm sorry, foam, puffies. This is like such a cool, fantastic kit. Phew. Now, I was letting my photo dry, so let me give it a quick trim. I'm trying not to touch it too much, because you know. But I've got this photo here of my mother and daughter um, on Mackinac Island. So I thought that would look gorgeous with the blue sky and all of that good stuff. So I will mat it in white which we have. And then, gosh, what do I want to do? I want to fussy cut out florals. I also want to fussy cut out some of these pieces. So what I think I'm going to do just from the get go, just because we know things are going to happen on this, right? I want to go ahead and cut this uh, to 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And I'm just so hoping <laughs> that Vicki Bouton will not fail me and I will have a gorgeous piece of paper to mat this with. This, this is my plan. If this does not go as planned, we'll regroup. It'll be okay. So I'm going to sign off for a while because I have got to get cutting. It's going to take me a hot minute to do that. And then we need to arrange things. I also need to go ahead and use this to mat my photo. I want a nice crisp white border around this. That will be fab. And by the way, this is not what the photo looks like. This got a little bit of a vintage vibe treatment because, you know, why not? It's fun. So I'm going to spend some time doing those things, guys. And we are going to start layering up all of things, like so many things getting layered. So, guys, what I did is I cut out these uh, paintbrushes with the drippy bits and I was thinking it might be fun to grab my ridiculous amount of inks and just do some splatty bits, you know, towards the bottom of where the paintbrushes would be. Is it going to add a huge amount? Probably not. I just like to use the things that I have on hand. Now, this is the one, guys, I matted this and then realized I had this great frame. This is my frame that I have. So I can go ahead and pop my photo in just like that. We can still see all the good parts of the photo. So I think that is awesome. Perfect. So I'm going to do this, get some splatties on here. And then I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be cute if I thought I could see what kind of color matching I can come up with and try to match, you know, the floral colors in accordance with, guys, some of these pieces are so delicate and I'm not a tidy crafter. So I was like, Yeesh. this leafy bit kind of goes over there. I could almost trim this and have some of that great greenery and then leave this peachy one here. I like the idea of that. Then we've got some gorgeous aqua bits that I have on here. So that would take care of the green there. You know, the ones that don't have the correct color, I wonder if that would be the right opportunity not not with this piece but to put kind of some of the that white with the green i like that idea too so let me go ahead you know after i spend all of this time going heavy to fussy cut and then i'm like oh let's just cut it in half which probably would have been a whole lot easier to cut if i did it like that but do you guys see what i'm saying i think that would be super fun now we also have these treasures in my bin right don't have any bright color with that. Like I can put this 
button in this blue on there. So all of that kind of stuff. This is what I am thinking. So let me grab some splatty bits. Now, you guys, none of these inks are in the um, kit. I just have them on hand. I'm going to match as well as I can. Not a big deal. So I've placed the florals on and my photo. My little paint brushes are attached down, but didn't it come out nice with the little paint drippy drips? So super cute. Love that. Oh, this is from a branding strip, this cute little paint brush. So I thought we can tuck that into the greeny section. All right. So like the kind of placement that we have going here, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut off this really bright, gorgeous blue because I'm trying to keep pretty color matchy and it's going well. So let's go ahead and do that to keep with the vibe. Um, let's see. Now I can go into my fun little bits and see what will work. So then this happened is a maybe. We'll see. Made me smile. I love it. But the orange, no. I like capturing the vibe. Okay. So definitely like this. Ooh, this is pretty with this peachy color in here. Wonder if I can cover just a little bit of the black because I don't need so much black and make it fancy fancy. So I like this capturing the vibe. Perfect. We can have that be somewhere. <laughs> we'll work on it. Capturing the vibe. Love that. All right. So those are not going to work. Today was okay. Do your best brave today. I like just the today. I wonder about doing one of those where you cover part of it because I don't need the was not feeling was on this but I am feeling today so we can kind of see it peek out I think cute like the little arrow and I'm gonna have the arrow come out maybe that way that would be cute new goals I can have yes just tucked in Ooh, right on that floral it's a like the perfect size cute cute I've got some metallic here so I can come in over here. See how I have the metallic down here? I can come in over here and use that little bit. And then I want to, let's go ahead and put it right here. Nice little visual triangle. Oh, nice. So I have enough of that color, I think. Yes, so we're good there. So cute. Ooh, I can bring in this really pretty button here and just tuck it in with the blues to have a little something, something. Perfect. Let me get all these pieces down and then we will go to the pattern paper kit. All right, guys. So here's what we have using the flavors of the month kit, a little dimensional adhesive and some splatty bits. This came together very nicely. It's nice and full and fun and I'm loving it. Love, love, love. You know what? I need to pop that up. There's something that I need to pop up about my title. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the pattern paper kit. Let me zoom out a little bit because I have a lot going on here. So I've got this piece. Oh, guys, I, well, that's cool. This one's called Currently, and I'm so loving the text. So that can be a piece of this. And what's this? Your story. And we've got these circly bits. Now, I would love to fussy cut out these circly bits. So what I think I'm going to do is give myself... Do I want to give myself color? Let me see. Let's see how I'm feeling. If I do this, it's going to bring different color around, but I'm not mad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and double map my layout. A thin mat with this multi-stripe called Your Story. Put like this. We have the black on the bottom and I like it with the title. I think that's fun. And this lighter color works with these paintbrush little pieces that are throughout. So that is super cool like that. Okay, and of course I'm gonna gut it. We gotta save all of that Vicky Booten paper. Let me run over and get my Shots of Life kit and see if there's anything we can do with this. Ooh, this is pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. So we have got this piece, it's called three by four. I'm already looking and guys, don't don't be mad at me. I know, I, I just wanna fussy cut out this piece and put it with my peachy area like that. I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. It's 
Now, sh they both have glasses on. So, what I'm going to do right over this book, guys. I know, I know. You know what? Maybe I can put this burgundy color on with, like, the burgundy paintbrush area. But I'm, like, low-key thinking it's pretty cool by the title as well. Maybe I'll do something like that because they both have the glasses on. I think that's kind of cute. It's just kind of wonky. Like where the, um, you know what? That's going to be two different things. Never mind. Don't pay attention to me. Don't know if I'm going to use the label right now, but I'm definitely using the glasses. That's how it is. That's how it is. It was just a little wonky for my vibe. So I have that and that's fine. Found a couple pieces to use there, but then guys, look at, we have puffies, puffies. So I'm going to sprinkle any of the matching puffies, boop, 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 all around the way. So I need to pop this up, fussy cut that, fussy cut that, tuck it in, sprinkle, sprinkle, and I'll meet you right back here to take a look at the embellishment kit. All right, y'all. So at this point, we have our embellishment kit, and this is what I have. I have a six by 12. Oh, I like the capturing the vibes. I like the idea of this pretty little bit right here. I wonder if I can restructure these little pieces without damage <laughs> to put on here because this was a lovely day. You can go like that. And I liked this little tiny number two because it was the two of them in this photo. Cute, cute. So we have that. Oh my gosh, is there anything else we can pop in of course there's stuff we can pop in but I want it to make I want it to be useful so I like this love this let me pop that up on a tiny bit of foam guys so this clearly is a very full layout but that's kind of my vibe I do like to use all of the things oh cute so we've got the black we've got the metallic the whole thing is going on Ooh, you see that little pingy bit? Oh, I've got enough of those. Okay, I was making sure. Crazy about this. It's not a daily ritual. It's not often we're up there. Is that enough to make me happy? I love the big birds, but the scale would be almost terrifying if a bird came at you like that. But, you know, whatever. Let's see. Head over heels about this, and I'm not even mad about it. Cute. I kind of like you. Well, you know, it's a grandmother-granddaughter situation. All right, that's what we have. So, guys check this out i think i'm gonna go get you know some um something with a little bit of shine and razzle dazzle to have a little bit of a clear shine on a couple of pieces but guys that is this layout done i'm gonna have links down below for the scrap room website so you can get your hands on these kits for the facebook group and for the blog you can see what the dt is up to you can jump in on challenges that are in the facebook group all of the good good but guys how fun is this layout? Absolutely love it. And I'm going to see you guys ever so soon with another video and a few still shots to follow right there. Bye for now, guys.